I was asked to chair this conference last year when we were down here in Palm Beach, and it's been a wonderful opportunity. And I think the greatest benefit of chairing something like this is the wonderful people that you have an opportunity to work with. And you really discover that you have similar values and goals and common dreams for the Greek community. This conference was very special for me for a number of reasons. I think our tribute to the veterans uh, made me, it, it sort of positioned our history and what Greeks have contributed to fighting for freedom and democracy in the world. And I think that set the tone, and a very emotional tone, because the, we showed a film about World War II veterans as well as Korean War veterans. And then we actually honored a fallen veteran from the Af Afghanistan War, and his father spoke. And I think that was very moving and very emotional. So that was a highlight for me. Um, Andrew Laveris, is, um, the way he spoke and his, uh, his keynote was just totally amazing. He's an amazing speaker and an amazing human being. And I think finally having Mario Frangoulis just chop it all off last night and Nicole Petalides today um, talking about business and what it's like to work on the exchange as a Greek American woman. Um, she was totally amazing. And, and again, just getting back to Mario, I think he added um, just a certain uh, how do I put it? Just he sent the conference to me sort of over the top because his music was so meaningful. Tell me a few words about your experience singing for the Leadership 100 audience. Well, um, it's a great honor to be among such good people. And, uh, you know, the Leadership 100 um, uh, members have, uh, have shaped the world, have changed things, have moved things forward. And I'm very happy to be part of, uh, of such an amazing event. I mean, this is uh, the welcoming of a new uh, chairman. And uh, we said goodbye to, to uh, the old chairman, Mr. Karas. And, uh, and of course, we're all happy that the Greek spirit is alive uh, right here in Florida. So how, how was this uh, two-year term here with Leadership 100, and how did you enjoy the journey? It goes very fast. It went very fast. Uh, Charles, our new chairman, will find that out. Uh, I enjoyed every day of it because we had an opportunity to do the things we want, which is to focus on the youth. We continued our scholarship program for Hellenic College, Holy Cross. That's our most important project because without new priests coming out of the Hellenic College Holy Cross, uh, this church is not going to survive. So that's the most important thing. And then secondly, the camp initiative, the summer camp initiative this year was also very important. 2,000 children went to summer camp who otherwise would not have been able to have gone. What would be your advice to the new chairman? Oh, advice to the new chairman. I don't need to give him advice. He knows more than I do. But uh, just stay dedicated to uh, our church being preserved and uh, our children uh, inheriting a good church and uh, uh, orthodoxy continuing with our children and that's that's what we're all about. And please tell us a few words about what is let's say the first two or three things that you want to do for leadership. Well the thing I think the thing is most important is that Leadership 100 has been a continuous evolution over years and years and years. You know, it's very easy for me to step into this position because I've had so many good chairmen to go before me. And uh, the thing that we are most supportive of is our, our young people, making sure that we get them more involved in the organization because they are the future. Uh, like Costa said earlier, supporting our school is important. That's very important to us. Uh, we, we have a, a nice endowment which gives us the resources to make available to the church. Uh, we were started by uh, a group of men who sat down with the bishop, Archbishop uh, Yakovos, and it was designed to help the church do ministries that they couldn't afford. And that's what we, that's what we exist for. You know, having fun like tonight is great, but the work is very serious. We take it very serious and we work hard. Membership's important for us. We need new members. Uh, we have roughly 875 members. We would like to get to 1,000. Michael, you are the heart of the youth of Leadership 100. How this uh, Young Partners program goes for the organization? Yes, um, we implemented a committee of nine people, have conference calls regularly. We have meetings uh, twice a year at the conference and then once outside of the conference. Um, so we implemented that. Uh, that's probably the biggest change. We also are continually developing um, 
what the program will be at the conference. We have now a lot more attendance, a lot higher attendance, so therefore we need to have better events, more events. Thank you for this great conference for one more time. And please tell us a few words about the highlights of this event this year here in Manalapan, Florida. For me, the entire conference was a highlight. It was amazing. It was just awesome. Uh, the conference each day had something different to offer to every member who was here. Whether you were young, old, middle-aged, everyone got something out of it. For me, the highlights were, of course, the um, concert last night with Mario Frangoulis. He was unbelievable. Also, uh, Andrew Laveras from Dow Chemical. What a beautiful human being. Humble, uh, a man who's that successful, I did not think would be able to have such a good time and interrelate with our people. Also, um, Nicole Petalidis, who did an excellent job. I know Nicole and her family, and when I asked her, she accepted right away. She's a mother with uh, two beautiful little children. She's very successful with Fox Business News, but she's also very active in the Greek community and the church. People say the Leadership Conference is a group of rich people that go away. Quite the contrary. It's a group of dedicated, caring, committed Christians who love the church, love orthodoxy, love Hellenism, and interrelate with each other. This conference gives you an opportunity to spend time with other Greek Americans, whether they be young or old, and to have an opportunity to just enjoy each other in forums and in fellowship. Uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful feeling. And we all talked about the concerns of Greece. We all feel a part as individuals. We will all send something to help Greece. I, I joined uh, seven years ago, eight years ago. I felt that it was an organization that was celebrating Hellenism and Orthodoxy. My predecessor was Greek. American Greek. He told me about Leadership 100. I met all the leaders of the organization at that time, and I l applauded what I was trying to do, which is to continue uh, in the youth of people of Hellenic extraction the values, the traditions of being Greek and Orthodox. It's celebrating your culture, your bond. It's, it's keeping your bond alive.